Let's talk about it. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another review, or a different review. And this review is not a movie review, no, or a football game review. This is a TV review, yes. Of one of the best TV shows that you can possibly ever say of all time. And that being Stranger Things Season 1. Yes. No one talk about this for a while. Just finished watching the whole Stranger Things show for the first time. Um, yeah, I just finished Season 4. And I'm going to be talking about all four Stranger Things seasons for the next few days. And I hope you all stay tuned for that. So, yeah. Um... And, uh, yeah, uh, just, uh, before I get into it, I hope you all enjoyed my Exorcist review that I just posted a, a bit earlier, and I got more horror reviews coming today, but this is something I've been wanting to talk about uh, for, like, like I just said, ever since I started watching this show, uh, all the way back in July, and I've had, I've had so much motivation to talk about this show, and, um, uh, I'm finally doing it, so, yeah, um, like I said, like I just said, uh, stay tuned for the rest of the reviews that I'll be doing for the next three Strange Things seasons, I have, I did tell you guys that I'd be making a surprise, well, this is that surprise, so, yeah, and, as, I hope you all stay tuned for the horror reviews that, more horror movie reviews that I got, and just more videos that I got in general, so, here we go, here is my review for Stranger Things Season 1. Let's go. So, this season stars Millie Bobby Brown, Finn, Finn, Wolfhard, Finn Wolfhard, Noah Schnapp, um, no, wait, sorry, Winona Ryder, David Harbour, um, the Joe Carey, sorry, I'm just trying to remember everyone. Anyway, the list goes on, and it is directed by Sean Levy, who I think did most of the episodes, and created by the Duffer Bros. And basically, this season is about well, I think most people should know already. Will Byers he gets cap he gets captured by Demogorgon, and yeah, he gets kidnapped, and they're basically trying to get him back because. This Demogorgon is like nothing anyone's ever seen. It's this really creepy, fucked up monster that... Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to talk about, but... Um, yeah, basically, each episode, which is eight, which are eight episodes, and they're all like almost an hour long. Like 45 minutes at best. Um, and yeah, I just want to get straight to the positive. As anyway, because... Oh, man, this show is such an amazing show. I can't wait to talk about it. Um, positives. The performance is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Like, um, Millie Bobby Brown's fantastic. For, like, and actually, you know what? All the child performances. Like, for child performances, it takes such effort, you know, for, like, kid actors to become this good because normally you wouldn't expect to see kid, a lot of kid actors this good but all of them are fantastic I'm like wow like this is this is awesome I'm just I really enjoyed the, 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 the I, I felt I saw the characters I saw the characters I saw Eleven I saw Mike Wheeler I saw um, Lucas I saw Will I saw uh, Dustin, I saw all these characters, and I, I felt them, um, yeah, uh, all the performances, all incredible, yeah, like, you got, like, Finn Wolfhard, Noah Schnapp, like, you got all of them, uh, fucking great, David Harbour is fantastic, one of the best characters, you know, fan favorite character, obviously, he's one of my, my one of my go-to characters, I fucking love Hopper, he's awesome, and I think the standout performance, or at least one of them, I have to say Winona Ryder. I think Winona Ryder is great in the rest of the seasons, but wow. Oh my god. Some of her acting in this season is like, oh, like, I, like, that is just, 
that is like award winning acting. Like some of the scenes where like she's just in the house, you know, just begging for ways to try and find Will Byers. That is like a that is Academy Award winning kind of um, uh, kind of a performance. I know it's not really Oscars, but you know, like you know, the TV award winning performances. That's that's worthy because her performances in those scenes is fucking incredible. It's like that's like a real mother. That is what a real mother would do, you know, a real person. And there's just oh my god, there's so much. Like God, like how 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 the, the I I don't know if they got nomination or not, but. If they, if they did, they deserved it. And if they didn't, that's bullshit. Because they all fucking deserved it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Winona Ryder's performance, absolutely outstanding. Millie Bobby Brown would be another, another standout performance. She's absolutely fantastic. Um, again, just like Winona Ryder, she's great in the rest of the seasons, but this is her hands down her best. It's like, just everything flows together so well. I just... Yeah, this, this, this season definitely is, like, a lot of E.T., like, it definitely reminds you of E.T., you know, it has similar plot lines, you know, and I feel like a lot of Stranger Things seasons, they definitely have similar plot lines to movies, and I'll definitely get, I'll definitely get into those in my next few reviews, but, and that, and that's not a bad thing, actually, it's, it's really well, it's, they do it really well, and they do a really good job, it's such a creative, original story, you know? Oh, it's so much character, so much growth that you get to know and you get to love. It's like some of these characters, like you see in the first few episodes, you might like, you might th think, "Oh my god, I'm so gonna hate this character," but but then you're just like, "I love this character." Like Steve, like Steve, um, Steve is a bit is a, is a big example of this. Like, because the beginning star, I hated Steve. I, I was just like, "Oh my god, he's a piece of shit," and I'm like, "What the hell?" But then. As the seasons went by, I fucking love Steve. I like, I was like, oh my god, I was wrong. I was, wrong. I felt the same for Nancy. It was like, what the hell? Like this is. But then I was wrong. It's like it satisfied me, and I like that. I like that it satisfied you with the characters and what you th what you might think of them at first, but then you think of them in a completely different way as the season goes on. You grow to love them, and that's. That's certainly what happened with me, and just, yeah, there's so many characters in the season that I, I just, I love, you know, so much. I uh, just, uh, yeah. The episodes, um, the direction, every direction's really solid, you know, such great atmosphere, such great creepy moments, um, there's also great funny moments, that, like, they put comedy in the right scenes without ruining, like, any emotional moment, without really any creepy modes, they put comedy in the right scenes in the right time. And that's what comedy should do right. And I like when they do that in movies and shows. Um, they add the creepy modes right. They add the emotional moments right. They pretty much add everything right so goddamn well. And I just, I cannot praise them better than that. Um... And the, and the effects, the, the VFX, the CGI, the practical effects are all fantastic. The Demogorgons, they look 100% real. Like, I, 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 can, I, I, can t I, I, I can't tell if it's CGI. It looks real. It looks absolutely real. Yeah. Um, what can I say about this season that has not already been said? It's like, it's already gone on on before of how Strange Things is one of the best shows and just just yeah like how how else can I uh, anymore um I guess I could say this best uh the season definitely has really amazing build up and it really like I said satisfies you with the characters like my favorite character on in this whole show is Dustin Dustin's my favorite character I fucking love Dustin Sam with Steve they're my favorite characters um, but, um, but, uh, yeah, season one is an absolutely brilliant season, and, um, I don't know what else I gotta say about it. It, I loved the hell out of it. It satisfied me. I thought it was different. How can you not love Stranger Things? What the fuck? How can you not love it? Like, I could not understand anyone who could not love it.
I don't understand. I don't, I do not fucking understand. Um, yeah. Just pretty much everything in this season is done so well, and y'all, y'all know what's coming. See, it's strange things still until fucking 11 out of 10. Come on. Y'all saw that coming. It's an 11 out of 10 season. It's an absolute masterpiece. Um, can't wait to get into the other seasons in my reviews. With those reviews, I'll have more to say. I haven't been as motivated to talk right now just because it's a lot later tonight, guys, so I'm getting a little tired. But I did the best I could to come on here and talk about Strange Things Season 1 because I just felt like I needed to get off my chest, even though I'm really, really fucking tired right now. But I wanted to get off my chest for you guys to watch, so... Yeah, um, that'll wrap it up for my review of Stranger Things Season 1. Let me know below, what do you think of this season? What is your favorite Stranger Things character? I just told you guys mine. That is Dustin and Steve. So, let me know yours. I want to know your favorites. And let me know what are your thoughts and opinions on the season or the whole show. Just give me your whole thoughts and opinions. And stay tuned for my reviews of the other seasons coming in the next few days and of course stay tuned for the final two horror movie reviews that i got planned for this season then i got more next year but uh, yeah and as for any reviews or rankings mo or movies that i got planned and yeah uh yeah tv shows and games too obviously yeah but and uh, yeah as usual take care guys uh thank you all for watching uh, please like and subscribe, and as always, happy Halloween from Hades Lord. Ooh.